Your Excellency, President Lieutenant General Kama, Honorable Prime Minister, Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear friends. I would like to welcome you, Your Excellency, and your delegation on your state visit to the Maltese Islands. Your Excellency, your state visit to Malta is an occasion for us to encourage, enhance, and strengthen the bilateral relations that exist between the Republic of Botswana and the Republic of Malta. Let us also use this occasion to create greater awareness among our respective societies to highlight new opportunities for investment and expansion within our public and private sectors. While diplomatic relations between our nations were recently established in 2005, there are many areas of mutual connection which already unite our peoples. These include our shared focus on innovation and development alongside our mutual membership within the Commonwealth of Nations. This was evident in the Prime Minister of Malta's visit to Botswana in June 2015 to participate in the Commonwealth Conference for Local Governments ahead of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting held in Malta. For this reason, Malta looks forward to continued cooperation with Botswana, not only on a bilateral basis, but also within the Commonwealth. It is thanks to the strong relationship that we are linked together by our common values of democratic participation, the protection of human rights, and safeguarding the rule of law. Furthermore, alongside these social and political values, I am confident that an important move forward in our relations is the signing of the Double Taxation Avoidance Agreement between Malta and Botswana. This important development shall further boost economic benefits on both sides. Practical discussions on economic collaboration can subsequently take place, which will more fully explore the trade potential that exists between our countries and engender greater closeness between our respective business communities. I must therefore take this opportunity to commend Botswana for maintaining one of the world's highest economic growth rates since 1966. I also note that trade between Malta and Botswana consisted mainly of printed books, reaching 2.6 million euros in 2016. Malta is ready to take these economic opportunities to the next level by exploring strategies which diversify and promote bilateral trade with Botswana. Such strategies are particularly timely in the light of the stimulus plan announced by the authorities of Botswana to boost the economy through projects in agriculture production, construction, manufacturing, and tourism development. Malta is ideally placed to offer its expertise in such sectors, including the tourism, hospitality, and travel industries. Tourism offers an ideal context for the promotion of friendships and connections between different groups through the celebration of diversity. Let me also state that Malta welcomes the positive and constructive relationship that is flourishing between Botswana and the European Union. We look forward to more cooperation between our nations to enhance peace, security and prosperity across our regions. In particular, the Union's cooperation strategy with Botswana is a stepping stone to achieve new and dynamic relations between Botswana and the European Union. In light of these commitments, Malta remains fully committed towards long-term sustainable development. These aspirations are in line with the United Nations 2030 Agenda and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Malta firmly believes that it is important to participate in the efforts being made by the international community in the field of development assistance with the primary objective of eradicating poverty. However, we must take positive steps to promote good governance and respect for human rights, especially when it comes to the well-being of both present and future generations. For this reason, Malta welcomes the emphasis being placed on youth and employment at the upcoming European Union Africa African Summit. The theme of the summit is also of particular relevance to Botswana, and in this regard, Malta is appreciative of the efforts undertaken by the authorities of Botswana over the past years to improve the well-being of young people in, in the country. 
Malta reiterates its commitment, together with the European Union, to ensure a successful outcome of the summit that would develop into concrete and tangible results for the young and future generations of our African partners. This must necessarily take into account the realities of human movement patterns which are currently increasing. Where the phenomenon of migration is concerned, Malta has over its, over its years of experience as a country of transit and destination learned that migration cannot be addressed unilaterally. We must focus on cooperation, both among European countries and African countries, in order to find a common position to the challenges and opportunities of migration. Therefore, Malta commends Botswana for its efforts in addressing irregular migration, particularly human trafficking and the smuggling of migrants following the adoption by Parliament of the Anti-Human Trafficking Act in 2014 and the establishment of the Anti-Human Trafficking Committee in January 2016. We believe it is essential that the content of the New York Declaration is not watered down in the Global Compacts. Malta counts on Botswana's support to achieve the post-positive outcomes of the Global Compact compacts on refugees and migrants, which shall be agreed in 2018. Let me therefore conclude by saying that there must be a concerted effort on behalf of the European and African nations to play an active role in promoting a comprehensive approach to migration. We must uphold international principles, a sense of global solidarity and sustainable investment to ensure that the best interests of all affected individuals, families and communities are met. I'm confident that such a focus on the dignity of each and every person, both migrants and citizens, is a cornerstone of the commitment that Malta and Botswana feel to safeguard the well-being of all. Your Excellency, President Kama, I strongly believe that the friendship between Malta and Botswana shall continue to flourish and to grow for many years to come. May our friendship always be a source of strength and confidence for the mutual benefit of both our peoples and the prosperity of the forthcoming generations. Let us now raise our glasses to drink to the health of President Kama and to the peoples of Malta and Botswana.